complimenting a woman or girl is a great skill to have because it makes her feel good and when she feels good, she associates feeling good with being with you. Not only that, but complimenting is a great segue into flirting, which we'll get into a little bit later. But there are different strategies for complimenting a girl without being creepy based on how well you know her and what the setting is and whether she's hot or not so hot. Let's get right into it. One, situational. So you're going to have a different set of compliments to provide women based on what the setting is. It's gonna be vastly different if you're meeting a woman for the first time in a bookstore or a coffee shop versus a nightclub, right? Like totally different setting. So first tip is about thinking about what is her intention for where she's at. And another way of thinking about this as well, especially when we're gonna talk about physicality, what she looks like is what is her intention or what could be her intention for what she's wearing to where she's at. So if you sort of start thinking about what her thoughts might be before she went to that place, what she chose to put on her body, to go to that place, then you're gonna have a better baseline for where to pull your compliment from. Two, hot versus not. Attractive women get compliments on their physical body or their physical attributes a lot. They're so used to it, they pretty much expect it. The hotter she is, the more often she's been complimented on her looks and it comes across as being unoriginal when you go for something that's just so used to hearing about. On the other end of the scale, women who are not hot, they're not used to getting compliments on their looks because they just don't get that many compliments on their looks. So general rule of thumb is you want to compliment hot or beautiful, really attractive physically women on something other than their looks, something related to their personality. We'll go through some examples in a little bit here. And you wanna compliment Ugly chicks. Women who are not as stereotypically attractive in the society's eyes on something physical about them. Maybe they have beautiful eyes or maybe they have amazing hair or they have something about them physically that is worth a compliment. Number three, how well do you know her? So if you don't know her at all, like let's say you're standing in line waiting for your the barista to make your coffee and she's kind of standing nearby and waiting for her coffee, then you want to stick with the rule of thumb for hot or not. Stay away from the TNA zones. If you don't know what that is, somebody write it in the comments below so we can educate the other guys. Those are the, the no-go zones that you just really shouldn't talk about until later. I'm going to tell you later when you should actually compliment her on her TNA zones, when it's really, really welcomed. So stick around for that. Now, if you do know her a little bit, like from work or social circles or just in general, and you want to get out of or avoid the friend zone, then you are going to massage the rule of thumb and you'll give her a general compliment that's not physical and then you're going to give her another compliment or a tease that will create the flirt and I'm going to give you the details on that in a little bit so stick around. Tip number four, be sincere. So when you're giving a woman a compliment you want to make sure that it's actually something that you genuinely actually admire about her because if you're not sincere she's going to feel that and she's going to feel the incongruency of your words and your interior beliefs which translates into your internal intention with her and so you want to make sure that you're not just saying empty words or canned compliments that you found somewhere maybe even on this video later I'm going to give you some specifics but you want to make sure that whatever you're complimenting on her is actually something that you admire about her. Some examples for this one are if you don't know her then you could say something like hey you know I don't I don't know you, but I just wanted to tell you that that color looks amazing on you. It really makes your eyes sparkle. So there's not a woman that's healthy emotionally in the world who isn't going to love that. So let's say you do know her. So what you might say if you do know her a bit more casually, but you're not really dating, or you could be actually dating, but let's say you know each other and you're are or are not dating, you could say something like, hey, you know, I've known you for a while, but I just wanted to say that that new dress really looks flattering on you. You look great today, or you look especially great today. 
women are very sensitive to the nuances. If you say you look great today, some women are going to automatically think, oh, I didn't look so great yesterday. So if you say I, you look especially great today, that actually says to her that she always looks good, but then today she looks especially good. Okay. And you can use that on your wives or girlfriends as well. And along those lines, if she is your girlfriend or wife or long-term partner, you can say, babe, you look beautiful every day, but today you look especially beautiful. I really like that color on you or that dress on you or that whatever. And again, stick around because I'm going to give you a pointer on how to turn any kind of innocent compliment into a flirt that can lead to seduction. Number five, be original. So it doesn't matter how well you know her, if you can come up with something that is original and unexpected, that it's going to have more impact. So you want to choose something that, again, you admire or respect, and you can even throw those words in there. Um, so for example, choose something that you think or you know that she's she would be really proud of for herself. So you might say something like, wow, Ashley, I just have to tell you that I really admire your dedication and I have 100% respect that I know you put in those extra hours to get this project done on time. Or you could say, hey, Chloe, you know what? I, something I really admire about you is that you don't follow trends, but you always look stylish. Respect. So this is a compliment you would use if you actually know her a little bit or a lot. And you would just modify it slightly if you are actually in a relationship with her. Number six. So after you've given the compliment and she's replied, there's going to be this like little awkward moment where it's like, okay, now what do we say? So a good way of dealing with this is to actually just redirect. So you're going to walk away from that. She's already basking in that compliment. Now, unless she's had a really bad reaction, then just let it go. But if it's been positive or even neutral, then just switch gears and talk about something completely different. So if you're in the coffee shop, you might say something like, you know, I always get the same thing. I should really try something different, but you know, I'm just such a guy who's into routine or whatever. And then you can might even follow it up with something like, what about you? Like, does your barista have your name on a particular type of coffee or do you like to switch it up? So that's just a way to get away from the compliment and talk about something else where you can actually engage in conversation and avoid, you know, that bit of weirdness that you feel when you've just given a girl a compliment without being creepy. If you know her, you might, and let's say you're working together, you could say something like, I'm going to go grab a coffee. Do you want one? Or I'm going to go grab a coffee. Do you want to join me? You know, kind of keeping it casual. You're just redirecting from the compliment so that she doesn't have to feel weird. Because if you let it kind of hang there, then that's when it starts to feel creepy. And speaking of creepy, make sure you stick around because I'm going to give you the tips, three tips on when there's three times you can use a compliment that's specific about TNA, her bits and parts. But first, let's look at number seven her smile or her laugh. If you see her smiling or laughing, or you've made her smile or laugh, definitely compliment her on her smile or laugh. This is one of three physical things that you are generally safe complimenting a woman on no matter what. If you can guess what the other two are, write it in the comments below. And I'll, I will tell you later on. Okay. Uh, along the lines of smiling is laughing. So if she's made you smile or laugh, especially if she's made you laugh, you want to tell her, you want to compliment her on making you laugh. You want to say something like, you're really funny. I like that. And be a little bit mischievous about it or have a little bit of a cocky grin or something playful. The reason why telling a girl you like that she makes you laugh is attractive for her about you is because you're actually complimenting her on her brain, on the way she thinks, because to be able to make a guy laugh is not something every woman can do. It's actually quite a rare trait that women are not as well known for. So if she has been able to make you laugh and you tell her that you like that and that she's funny, she's really going to like that. And she's going to want to make you laugh more. Oh, also little side note, Laughing is contagious and it also releases oxytocin, which is the same hormone that you release when you, oh my goodness. Yes. So if you can make her laugh or she can make you laugh and you laugh together and it's contagious, then you just release something that's a feel good thing that she's going to want more of and she's going to associate with you. I know. I know. Stick with me. There's more. However, 
This next one is actually a turnoff. So if you compliment her in a manipulative way, only to get something from her, like what we just talked about, then she's going to feel that and it's going to be a turnoff to her. So don't use canned compliments that you found on some pickup artist's site that you can just use on any old girl or young girl. You want to make sure, again, that you go back to whatever one that was where you're actually being sincere. Okay, so just before we get into when you should compliment a woman on her bits and parts that are otherwise inappropriate to compliment on, let's go through one more thing that is sometimes used in the pickup community, but it's not a really good one to use. And that's the backhanded compliment. So it's almost like a nag where you're giving her something and then you're taking it away. So it's something like, wow, Ashley, you look really amazing in that dress today. You must be looking for extra attention, hey? So that's like saying she looks really good, but then it's because she's in attention. Oh. So that's not actually a great compliment to give a girl. Sometimes when you want to give and take away so she has to work for something, you want to do it in a way that is more about teasing and complimenting and then taking it away, but it's something that you actually do admire about her. So never tease her about something that she's actually sincerely insecure about or that you actually really don't like because she's going to know that and it's going to be creepy. When you do it wrong, you're basically insulting her in a bad way. When you do it right, you're enticing her to want to win you over. So a different way of saying that same statement might be, wow, Ashley, that dress looks amazing on you today. Are you looking to get extra attention from me today or some extra love from me today or whatever? So if you play with that and make it playful and wink and, you know, fun, then it's not about her looking for extra attention from just whomever. It's her looking for attention from you. Even though that might not be true, that's probably not true. It's not her intention, unless she does have a little secret crush on you. But it makes it fun and it adds that little bit of sexual tension, which will help keep you out of the friend zone. And that brings us to how to turn a compliment into a flirt, which is exactly that. Whatever she has done or said or worn or whatever, you add that little extra bit, did you do that just for me today? Or did you wear that just for me today? Or something along the lines where you make it personal about her doing something that pleases you. By the way, these also work in text format if you just modify a little bit. I know. Okay, using the TNA zones three times when you can safely compliment her on her bits and pop. Okay, one is if she's in a situation, often at night, not necessarily, where she is definitely throwing it all out there. So it might be like, for example, in a nightclub where she's wearing a really low cut blouse and she's got some great cleavage, or maybe she's got amazing legs, or she's wearing like some kind of something that really shows off her amazing derriere. And it's a setting where her intention, because you're thinking about her intention before she got there, is to get attention. And it's undoubtedly for that. But that doesn't mean you're gonna go right out and say, hey, that dress makes your bleeps look amazing. You're still gonna be classy about it and say, wow, that dress is really flattering on you. In fact, I'm really distracted by it. Can you please repeat what you just said? Something like that. And that way it keeps it from being creepy. Number two, if she has overtly or no, explicitly or inexplicitly requested the compliment. So let's go back to the nightclub situation. If she, let's say she's not wearing a super low cut top, but she's wearing something that's really tight and shows off her figure. She might say, what do you think of this? Again, you're gonna stay classy with the compliment on the wow that makes your figure look amazing. It's distracting or something like that. Or she might even overtly say, how does my butt look in these pants? Well, she's asking you for the compliment, so you're allowed to give it to her. You're, la you're allowed to give her the compliment. You're allowed to say, your ass looks amazing in those pants or whatever, right? And if she outright, if she's the one that says the word, the actual, how do my mm look in this, then you're allowed to say, your mm look amazing in that. So that's the second time. And then the third time, when you don't even actually just 
need her permission, but you should compliment her bits and parts are when you've actually been intimate together. You've seen your each other's birthday suit. That's when she absolutely needs you to compliment her bits and parts and be really specific about it if you can, because women are insecure when we first get, well, not all women, but a lot of women, and even the ones that aren't insecure, they're still gonna really appreciate those kind of compliments. And that is applicable whether it's your first time together or your 5,000th time together. Always remember to compliment her when you're being physically intimate. Okay, if you're curious about my favorite compliments and least favorite compliments, let's go through them. Okay, least favorite compliment, you're hot. Next one, you're beautiful, uh, you have great style, you have great personality, sense of humor, that one's okay. Like, yeah, okay, I'll take it. That's something about more than what God gave me. Third one would be, I really appreciate the information you share and agree with you, validating my work. I love that. And then my most favorite, my most favorite, your coaching has changed my life in these ways. I love those. If you have that story, send it to me. Thank you for that. And I will say that some of you wonder why I give out hearts and love to most of the compliments that I get, that I see. And it's because I know that they actually come from a good place, from good hearted men, and that you don't mean anything negative or disrespecting by them. I just prefer the other compliments, except for the TNA ones. Oh, I can't. I can't give you hearts and loves on that. That's just inappropriate. You shouldn't compliment a woman online. There's an extra tip for you. You shouldn't compliment a woman online with anything more than what you would compliment her with in person based on how well you know her, the situation, and how hot she is. All right. Thanks so much. I see you next week. <laughs>